Hello, my name is Chris Woodpan. I'm the owner of Ingot Film Studios and I am working with Hero Time to make a bunch of videos to help you get your products ready for print. This guide is gonna be all about how to set up your documents in Photoshop. The next guide will be covering how to do this with Illustrator as well. So in Photoshop, we have two options we can begin with. We can either build the document from the ground up ourselves, which a lot of seasoned illustrators will do, or you can also download our helpful templates from herotime1.com. So let's begin in Photoshop by creating a brand new document from scratch. Control N will be the shortcut, or you can go up to the top of file menu and select new. The next box is your width and your height, and that makes a lot of sense. And then we also have our size delimiters. I recommend working in what you are actually trying to produce in. So in this case, let's set ours to millimeters. The next thing we need to know is just how big are our cards going to be? If you go to our website, you will learn that these are going to be 70 millimeters by a height of 120 millimeters. Refer back to the last episode where we talked a lot about resolution and you'll know why I choose 450 to get a good print file out of this result. Color mode. This is kind of an important one and one a lot of people just skip over. But if you're printing, you want to really be working from the ground up in CMYK. We're definitely going to take some time and cover that in a future episode. But as you're going to learn in about 50 seconds, we have a problem we need to worry about. And that's a little something called bleed. And to do that, let's go to the website and let's download the template and start from there. So if you just go to the quick website linked and listed down below. So by looking on here, I have many choices to choose from. So we're going to go to cards, the dimensions. Let's use the standard size card. And then from the drop down, we'll do our 7120 tarot. All right. And then just quickly download our template back in Photoshop. I am going to go and grab this card document and let me bring it in. So keep your width and your height, keep that the same as the document itself, but adjust your resolution to the resolution we want, which is 450, and make sure you're in CMYK color mode. All right, we're gonna bring this in. If we look at what we made before, let's take our tarot card here, and then I'm gonna paste it into our template. The original one we created was a perfect 70 by 120, and you can see that our blue box is fitting in here. However, you'll notice that this extra bar around the outside called bleed is not covered. And that is a big important thing. And this is where most people go wrong. Now, one other thing I wanna to touch on is what some of the different lines and things like that mean, because this is just a straight card. But if you're doing a tuck box or something like that, understanding where the fold lines are can be very important. So. What I want you to notice here is these blue lines, these are the fold lines. So when they actually fold it together, that's what'll make the tuck box. So knowing what you know now, let's go back and let's start building that document from the ground up yet again. We're going to convert to millimeters. We are going to call this document a tarot card template. We are going to make it not 70, because we need three millimeters of bleed on both sides, we're gonna make it 76 millimeters wide. And we're gonna make it 126 millimeters tall. That way, when we start our document, you can see here, we now have room for bleed. I'll get into more on guides later, but you can simply bring down guides here and snap them in at three millimeters all the way around. Just by snapping those guides around, you saw that I'm able to set this document up so that I can then use it very quickly and easily uh, in the future. And I know exactly where my bleeds are. So using either templates or using a template you build yourself in Photoshop, you can now execute good, clean, clear designs that are within safe and acceptable limits so that that way the product you put on screen will hopefully be the best representation of the product you get at print. Remember a few things, set your document up for a nice high resolution. Be sure to work within the, the size that you are going to actually export it as. So if that means millimeters, use that. The last thing is color space. Be sure whatever you do to make sure that color space is managed in CMYK for print things. 
So be sure to stay tuned in future episodes. The next one's going to be how to do this exact same thing in Illustrator because the procedure's slightly different, even though rather similar. And thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check out any episodes we have had previously so that you can get caught up to speed and that we can get your prints to look the best as possible the next time you send them to the printer. We hope you find these useful and we'll see you next time.